Uh, Father John, uh, we are very happy that you have agreed to give this uh, nice interview for us kindly. Um, we would like to ask you uh, a few intimate questions. All right. And the most intimate question of all uh, you would think for an Orthodox priest is to ask what is Orthodoxy like in America? That's barely intimate. There are more intimate questions. Uh, I would say, first of all, that Orthodoxy in America is very diverse. It's marked by a striving to be truly Orthodox, which means that many people exercise and develop their Orthodoxy in the most American of fashion. Of a kind of cafeteria approach of picking and choosing those things that are most important. Uh, we have in the United States what is sociologist uh, uh, Peter Berger calls an uncoerced clientele. Free to accept or not accept uh, whatever. So we have many people including those who could be described as cradle orthodox, rediscovering orthodoxy, or an orthodoxy that may be different from what they were experienced as children, as young people. We find uh, converts to orthodoxy, uh, in a slightly different sense of the word, coming from any number of Christian confessions, or from no religious persuasion whatsoever attracted by the wealth of offerings <laughs> that orthodoxy provides at this spiritual cafeteria. Right. It sounds like a, a bit of a orthodox consumption society, isn't it? America, the United States, is very much a consumer society and consumer preferences would sometimes play a role invariably play a role. And especially in an internet age, lobbies of one sort or another, uh, blogs promoting one vision or another of orthodoxy are very common. And people will certainly believe what they find asserted so convincingly on a blog before they'll believe me, a priest. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, uh, this reminds me uh, of really major discourse advanced by Father Alexander Schmemann uh, concerning uh, modern Orthodox secularism. Yeah. Uh, I think that we can distinguish several aspects or meanings to secularism. Uh, it is uh, the United States, first of all, is different from much of Europe. Uh, there has never been a strong anti-clerical tradition in the United States. And in fact, there has been a very strong religious tradition or many religious traditions in the United States. It's been described as the nation with the soul of a church. Uh, distinguishing it in this way from, let's say, France today, where there is secularity. The secularism of the United States could be described almost as uh, a sacred secularism. What is that? It is adopting things sacred for your particular secular purposes. It comes easily to be associated with patriotism. Uh, the temptation for orthodoxy in the United States is not the simple kind of secularism that can't be bothered about things religious or things spiritual or that can't be bothered about God. Many people are preoccupied with such questions. Uh, neither is it simple consumerism, though there is that. We want more of everything for ourselves and we think everybody else should be wanting this as well. It is a different kind of secularism. It is a secularism that tries to domesticate God and everything powerful for our own instrumental purposes. U utilitarianism. It's utilitarian use of religion and 
almost every other prop that we have. Uh, what is the contribution of academic theology to the real orthodoxy? Does it change anything? Serving on church commissions, uh, going on delegations to Constantinople or to Geneva or any other place you might wish to mention. Uh, so much of what we consider important in Orthodox church life takes place at this level and has very little impact on our congregations or on those people we might like to reach. This is a very exciting subject for some people. Let me explain my experiences since retiring from St. Vladimir's Seminary, since teaching students for over 30 years, people in many cases becoming priests. Right now, I mostly substitute in churches on weekends and serve regularly in certain others. I serve almost equal amounts of time in a parish of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese, a parish of the Antiochian Orthodox Archdiocese, a parish of the Orthodox Church in America, Russian tradition, and a parish of the Serbian Orthodox Church. Four parishes, two calendars, four very different sets of history, and even more reductions of orthodoxy or preconceptions of orthodoxy that the people have. Uh, the question in this situation is, what gospel am I to proclaim? This is not just a question of what the old calendar or the new calendar prescribes for the day in question. What Christ am I to proclaim to these people? What good news do I have to offer? Do I have good news that will challenge those who are comfortable to be uh, the Eastern Rite version of country club Christianity in the United States? Uh, do I have the words to challenge those who would value orthodoxy above all because of its fidelity to rubrical details? I can no longer be too concerned about rubrical details, as I've said to you before. One of the churches I serve in has curtains and doors. Another has doors, no curtains. Another has curtains, no doors. And another has neither nor. Right, right. And you accept them all? I have no choice. Uh, and that is not, I am, my goal is not to challenge them on the subject of doors and curtains. The question is, what is going to reach people where they are? Here, I would say that in the study of theology, in study in our theological seminaries and academies, uh, we do a wonderful job teaching church history, patristics, systematic theology. We could spend more time on the sociology of religion in our various countries, and specifically the sociology of the people in our parishes today. Uh, so that you, you are not left for words, saying the wrong words. Those preparing in our seminaries may learn even how to speak to someone who has been bereaved or other pastoral situations. But the pastoral challenge is, in fact, much bigger. In the United States, at least, the rate of divorce of Orthodox Christians is right on the national average. White collar crime is the same. Uh, every statistical measure of a conversion that is inward and not simply external, we are simply where the rest of Americans are.